In a world where reality TV shows dominate the entertainment industry, 90 Day Fiancé has managed to capture the attention of viewers worldwide with its unique concept and dramatic couples. However, not every spin-off has been met with the same level of enthusiasm and success. 90 Day, The Last Resort, a therapy-oriented spin-off, failed to live up to expectations and left viewers feeling disappointed and unsatisfied. The initial concept of 90 Day, The Last Resort seemed promising, with five couples sharing their marital struggles and seeking guidance from relationship experts. The first few episodes set the stage for what appeared to be an insightful and emotional journey towards improving their relationships. However, as the season progressed, the focus shifted from therapy sessions to off-therapy conflicts and dramatic confrontations among the cast members. One of the main issues that plagued the spin-off was the lack of sincerity and authenticity among the cast members. It became evident that some couples had joined the show not to work on their relationships, but to gain more fame and attention. The conflicts and arguments portrayed on screen felt forced and staged, detracting from the intended purpose of the show. The therapists on the show also failed to provide meaningful guidance and support to the couples. Instead of addressing underlying issues and offering valuable insights, the therapy sessions often felt superficial and ineffective. This was evident in the breakup of several couples post-filming, indicating that the therapy did not have a lasting impact on their relationships. As the season came to a close, it became clear that 90 Day The Last Resort had missed the mark in delivering a meaningful and engaging viewing experience. The excessive drama, contrived conflicts, and lackluster therapy sessions left many viewers feeling disillusioned and dissatisfied with the spin-off. The spin-off failed to live up to its potential and fell short of providing meaningful and insightful content for viewers. In conclusion, 90 Day The Last Resort stands as a cautionary tale of how a promising concept can be derailed by inauthenticity, manufactured drama, and ineffective therapy sessions. The spin-off serves as a reminder that quality programming requires sincerity, authenticity, and meaningful storytelling to truly captivate and engage audiences. As viewers, we can only hope that future spin-offs of the 90 Day Fiancé franchise will learn from the shortcomings of 90 Day, The Last Resort, and strive to deliver content that is both entertaining and meaningful for viewers.